prayer today, we're asked to remember Joan Patterson in a special way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You strengthen us with your body and blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priest and the elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage? and the people entertained folly. The kings of the earth took their stand, and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they gathered shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness, the word of the Lord. Response to our son. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the people utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them with his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all the to the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod and you shall shatter them like an earthen dish. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. 
who came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do this, these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown, grown old, be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter the mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. If you have a parish calendar at home, if you look at it, you know the numbers of each day are a different color based on what color the liturgical vestments will be that day. I always got Mary Smith in the office giving me a heads up on the red number days. So you'll sneak, those ones sneak up on you, right? This one's easy. They're all black numbers because it's white every day, all right? Phew, I think I can figure it out. But what he realized is our small subtlety. So our last week was truly in a, in kind of an intense celebration of, of Easter. It was uh, the double hallelujahs at the dismissal. It was the glory to God every day. We were in the Easter octave. We were celebrating every day last week as if it was still Easter Sunday itself. Now we're into, you know, not the glory and not the double hallelujahs, but still the Easter season. So the, the Paschal candle stays lit. It's, you know, some things will, will stay with us. Uh, hopefully, hopefully these little flowers, as long as they can, too, will stay with us. But I thought about the candle. I mean, it's right here. It's in your vision every day. It's something you, if you were at the Easter vigil, you would have kind of seen it blast, heard the prayers. If you weren't, you're like, oh, it's cool. There's this tall calendar, tall cal candle up there, whatever. But um, it's it's something you can kind of look up. The prayers that were, were said as we bless the the candle first on the, the arms of the cross and, and the year. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, you see the, the letters there. All time belongs to him in all the ages. To him be glory and power. 2021, right now. So we consecrate, first of all, this unlit candle that all time is going to be in, in God's hand. Then we place those, as you see, the five red grains of incense uh, kind of set into the corners of the cross by his holy and glorious wounds, right? The crown of thorns, his feet, his hands, his side. There's the, the five, you know, markings of that. Once blessed, it becomes, you know, lit from the, the fire itself, and we process in through the darkness, right? Light of Christ, light of Christ, light of Christ. And slowly, after that second um, stop, each person that was here was offered the opportunity to light their candle. So it was slowly spreading on Easter Vigil night, all from this single source, when we reached the stand, uh, Mike, our, our, our cantor, did a great job of singing the Exaltet. I want to give you a few lines. I won't sing it. That'll be your first mercy today, all right? And I won't do all of it. That's your second mercy. Because it's a very long prayer. But uh, you can see the images and the references to the light. Let Mother Church rejoice, arrayed with the lighting of His glory. Let this holy building shake with joy. It was exciting. There wasn't quite shaking Saturday, all right? Filled with the mighty voices of the people. Therefore, dearest friends, standing in the awesome glory of this holy light, invoke with me, I ask you, the mercy of God Almighty. So you can just kind of hear an energy in the, in the Easter vigils. We're holding our candles and we're inviting everyone to, to, to remember these things. And so I'll skip a bit. This is the night when once you led our forebears, Israel's children from slavery in Egypt, and made them pass dry shod through the Red Sea. Do you remember how we led them? This is the night with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. Right, allowed them to keep moving in the darkness of the night, that, that pillar of fire from the Old Testament. A little bit more again. The uh, sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes away false, restores innocence to the fallen, and joy to mourners, drives out hatred, fosters concord, and brings down the mighty. On this, your holy night of grace, O Holy Father, Accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands. 
an evening sacrifice of praise, a gift from your most holy church. So we do our best to give God, give back to God what nature provides for us, what our hands have been a part of. We give back this amazing light. Be now, we know, the praises of this pillar, which glowing fire ignites for God's honor. A fire into many flames divided, and at this point it has filled the whole church. We all have our little candles lit, yet never dimmed by its sharing of its light. For it is fed by melting wax, drawn out by mother bees, to build a torch so precious. So it may just be one of those things like, oh, it's nice poetry, but it's really a great and powerful image of how our faith, right, is, is given as a gift and is spread and never dims. Maybe as you pass by coming and going in these Easter days, well, this will be here till, till Pentecost. Just take a look more closely at some of the art and appreciate what's there and appreciate the gift of uh, this candle and how it reminds us God has always provided for us in the darkness. stand together and bring our knees before God. We pray for our church throughout the world that may continue to be a light in places that are most dark. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for those entrusted with roles of leadership in our, in our world today, that they would, in great humility, stoop to, to look to God for guidance. We pray to the Lord. Lord for each of our own, own lives, that we might be a, a light in darkness for those who need it most, and that we might keep our light ever, ever lit from the light of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord Pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way. We pray to the Lord. Lord for Joan Patterson and for all of our beloved deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we take a moment bringing to God the prayers and petitions which are important to, to each one of us today. For one of those needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Good and loving Father, we thank you for many ways that you do strengthen us along the journey of faith, for the ways in which you provide light in our darkness. Help us to find an answer to the prayers we bring to you today, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant that the gifts, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly banquet are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and the glory, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon our people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Continue in prayer for an end to the pandemic. O Mary, full of grace, patroness of this nation, mother of the church, in this time of illness and worldwide need, we seek your intercession for the human family before your son's throne of grace and mercy. We ask for strength in adversity, help in weakness, and comfort in sorrow. Help us, O oh Blessed Mother, to be filled with confidence and trust in the tender compassion of our God. Let us not be afraid, like our own St. Mary Ann Cope, who entrusted her life and ministry among the outcasts of society into the care of our divine physician. Continue to watch over all who are sick as well as those who care for them and give wisdom to all who are seeking a cure. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thank you, God. Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.